Today's show is sponsored by the ABV Barrel Shop. The ABV Barrel Shop is located in the St. Louis metro community of Arnold, Missouri, and is the world's first single barrel only liquor store. This business is owned and operated by Steve Akeley and Jim Fosnott. Head over to abvbarrelshop.com to sign up for their email and text distribution list. That way you'll know what they have in stock, what classes are coming up, and what barrel picks they have in the works. We are also sponsored by The Bar to Go. The Bar to Go offers a fully customizable carrying case that allows you to take your favorite distilled spirits or cocktail ingredients with you. Whether you're looking for yourself, a customized gift, or logo items for your business or event, The Bar to Go can help. Check them out at thebartogo.com. Use the number two when you type out The Bar to Go. Did you know Neely Family Distillery now ships its popular distilled spirits directly to you? To order, simply call 859-394-3258. Tell them the ABV Network sent you. And now, on to the show. Let's drink! Welcome to the Bourbon Daily, the podcast about everything bourbon delivered to you every day of the week. Today on the show, we discuss Darren's status as a new executive bourbon steward. My Woo-hoo! name is Becca Sue. Please join me welcoming my co-host, Steve Akeley, along with our special guests, Kathy Cool, Ryan Thompson, and Darren McRoy. Hey, gang. What's up? Howdy. Hey. What's up, guys? Hey, all. Hey. Hey, he just texted me and said, would you mind saying executive bourbon steward, Darren McRoy? Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> executive yeah. steward. He, he wanted he once said in all, all uh, <laughs> yes, scripts moving forward. So yes. I hope that he has a new business card that says it on there. Right. <laughs> yes. We need to work on he that. He will yeah. after he puts it in there in crayon. Yeah. <laughs> so we were getting ready to order Darren business cards, and we thought, you know what? We They got that contest. We're going to win best liquor store in St. Louis. And then we didn't win, and we've been so angry that we didn't win. <laughs> we didn't get anybody business cards. Even me. I only have, like, two left in the shop. Yeah, there's, like, three. Yeah, yeah. That's all I've got. I'm like, fuck it. <laughs> I wanted that St. Louis's number one liquor store on there, but uh wasn't meant to be, folks. Wasn't meant to be. It'll just make it that much sweeter when it happens. Exactly. It's gonna happen next year, I'm sure. But we're so well, new. What kind of fool picks a box store? Right. Yeah. What kind uh, anybody of who voted for anybody who voted for a big box store as the best liquor store is insane. But I, I guess there's people who vote for everything and that's the name they know. They're like, Oh yeah, oh, I like them. Sure. Yeah. Next that's year. Crazy crazy next there's next year so that's that's the plan uh darren you said there's something you want to talk about what is that buddy so when you're going to either different distilleries or museums or zoos or anywhere else this is applicable what (laughs) makes a good tour guide to you so what is a thing that makes that tour guide stand out for you okay Uh, i think you have to have a couple uh traits go ahead we'll let kathy go Go ahead. I just wanted to say that I know Miss Becca Sue loves it at the end of the tour if you pat her on the arm and say, Good job, honey. And then walk away. <laughs> That's what makes a bad tour est. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I mean, I think you, I think you got to have a combination of a level of enthusiasm. There's nothing uh, any worse than a sad sack taking you through a place, right? Oh, I that's mean, the worst. Yeah, it's Tony yeah. Vitale could be a tour guide. He's yeah, sad sack, sad, Tony. sad sack Tony. Sad sack Tony. Yeah, yeah we, Steve, you you and I went on a tour. I'm not going to say where. Right. But we had one, and it was like it, it was like Eeyore the whole time. Right. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> he, he was he knew what he was talking about. Yeah, he exactly. Because like, that's going to be the other he, thing you have to know what you're talking about. But like, if you're, yeah, like if we you're were a, a, a burden to him. Right. That entire time. Do you know the tour Whoa. I'm talking about? Where it was just yeah. like I, we right. felt like we were a, a burden the entire. Well, right. and here, here's oh. some more stuff that we've got. <laughs> uh, so. <laughs> Hope you enjoy it. You should yeah. probably just read the things that are on there because, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, you can read it or I'll just say it. So right. enjoy. You want to read it in your head or you want me to read it to you in my monotone voice? Uh, <laughs> That's I word. think every once in a while that would be funny. Oh, well. No? Maybe if you're, you know, if you're there with a laugh. The, yeah, maybe if you're there with a group of friends and you're going to, you know, kind of make fun of it if you're there because you're just enthused about the place and that's what you get i don't think oh, that's yeah. fun. that would be yeah, fun. It, it made for like a kind of like like what are we we're, we're sorry right. we're here right <laughs> like, yeah. i didn't mean to be a yeah. nuisance so yeah those two yeah. things yeah In- energy and education and right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. If, they, if they don't know what they're talking about that's just 
can get embarrassing. Yeah. I, I do enjoy good uh, dry humor, little dad joke thrown in every now and again. Right. That that that's nice. Right. Some good jokes. Right. Yeah. yeah. Those, those make those, are good. those make the tour. I good think. jokes yeah. too. Yeah. Some good yeah, jokes. I, yeah. They know what they're talking about, and they're they're like and, and I, also let's let me say this too. There's there's something to be said for someone that's too energetic on their tour which obviously yeah. that's that sounds it's like you need to find that perfect balance but someone that's sure. just like so fucking hyped up holy shit jumping from here's the stills and right. you're like okay yeah i get it no it, it is really cool but like let's tone down just a little bit here <laughs> yeah and, of, I, and i appreciate knowledge but i you know we don't need the flex of i know everything either i mean it's also a, a, a nice combination of that and of course what sets a lot of that off too is stupid people on the tours i mean there's some who hold jobs they want to show that group how smart they are by stumping the tour guide or or bringing up things that uh, they, they think make them look very intelligent i hate those kind of people on tours I, oh I yeah just, you just want to tell them to shut the fuck up uh, yeah. you know um but you can't. Maybe it's, that's it's, another topic for another show, huh? Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. So, also, uh, engaging, I think, with your tour group is like just is like nice. Like when people like are like they're they're not just saying the words. They're yeah. also like they know to say the words, but they can also engage yeah. with people while they're saying the words. You know, and like maybe they're making fun of the guy that's sitting there on his phone. You know, maybe not kicking them off the tour and yelling at them. Uh, but you know, they're like you know maybe like getting some jokes on the different people and like just personable kind, kind of remembering that. that everyone's there too that's a yeah. good good thing because sometimes people just focus on that one person it's like they're having a conversation with that one person or uh you know you want uh, you want to have everybody kind of involved kathy you didn't throw anything what, what do you got for this topic all the things you guys said okay we're just that smart we're just that you good. you guys are just that smart we're just that good folks yeah i had i did have a great tour recently i'll throw it out there at woodford's uh obviously great property and and uh, but our tour guy just nailed it i don't even remember her name but she was awesome was, she was a lot of fun she had some good jokes was educational engaged with everybody so yeah it was great woodford is a in general a good tour i'm not it's not necessarily my favorite whiskey out there but i do enjoy that right. tour the grounds are beautiful yeah. it's historic um uh, there's a lot going on there the, the pot stills they got those big pot yeah. stills are cool um and it's a it's a cool cool tour for yeah sure. it's, it's a nice yeah, tour yeah, yeah, i do like that one yeah it's well well thought out for sure on yeah. that note guess what it's time oh. to drink what is everyone Darren had some input oh darren go ahead i did i was waiting for my i was la i brought it up so i can talk last um okay, i went ahead. on a tour recently and it made me realize how important having a personality is because the tour guide knew everything but i almost fell asleep listening to her them talk about it because it was so nonchalant it was obvious that she had memorized the script and that was all that she was saying and there was no if you asked a question she, I, it was there was no thoughts in her head. scripted or, answer there was no character there was no yeah. fun it was flat yeah. Yes, it was flat. That is I well, you could go on. You could go on the same tour again and get a new tour guy and have a completely different experience yeah. as well, right? That's true. Yeah. It's true. I once went on a tour with uh, Mike Veach. You want to see a tour guide sweat? Oh uh, my God! Yeah, Mike Veach uh, <laughs> go on a tour with you. First of all, he doesn't hold back. He's the guy who will ask questions, and he'll ask the most obscure questions that there's probably only the person in the U.S. that knows is him. Oh, he'll ask. <laughs> yeah. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> That tour guide. At some point, that tour guide should just turn it over to him and just say, "You know what, Mister Beach? This is all yours. From here on out, you're in charge." Yeah, I mean, who the fuck is going to know more than Beach on a tour? I, no, uh, one. <laughs> yeah. no one. No <laughs> one. Yeah. yeah. I aspire to retire and become a tour guide. You're, you're, there you go. Come on down. That's a great Daddy. retirement job. We, we well, need an, we need another tour guide. Come on down. There you go. There you go. You're hired, got, Kathy. You got it that. lined out. You got to get to that retirement first. Oh, damn. Yeah. There's that. Well, you know, my 13 and 14 year old dogs are still alive. So. Oh, yeah. Still gotta, still <laughs> Not for long. Not for long. That's true. <laughs> Not my house. I don't say it. 20 <laughs> years old. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you, and if you ever want to end that, uh, Jim, he'll take care of it for you. I know. He will. <laughs> All right. On that note, it's time to drink. What is everyone drinking? Let's start with Kathy. Kathy, what do you got? Um, I'm going to open up some 10th Mountain. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. 
Nice base. Nice base. It was decent. It was decent. It was about decent. half gone. All right, let's go to Darren. Let's see what he got. I got some Stumpy's Old Monroe. Oh. Okay. okay, we heard it. <laughs> you know it, it was explosive when we heard it from It Darren. was really good. Here. Yeah, I'm yeah. Sad. But we heard it. We heard You're it. in the lead. Becca Sue was, was crying. She's about to shed a tear. Are we going to give him the lead? You have mine at all times. That was I think so. I thought it was better than Darren mine. Darren has the lead. I think We're, so, yeah. It was loud, loud, but it's... It sounded very elementary to me. All right. So <laughs> elementary. So Darren's got the lead. We're going to throw you another bone here, Darren. We're going to let Ryan go next. I'm thinking. You're gonna... <laughs> like you can yeah, at least to hold the lead for one yeah. more. Yeah. I was in uh, North Carolina recently and uh, was browsing the, uh, their ABC stores out there. And uh, well, although it's not from North Carolina, it's in a close state by the old Virginia there, the old courage and conviction. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yep. So excited about Talk, this. One talking to, to them on Tuesday. Oh, great. There you go. <laughs> that was good, huh? That was anything. good. This is amazing. This is an incredible show. No, actually, so far. we did. We have two we people, two two we, we, core we pops it. that we usually never hear. Yeah, right. Darren. Yeah. Cheers to you and I. We're buddy. groundbreaking here. <laughs> the question is, who's in the lead? Who's Where? in the lead? I, Darren's still in the lead. Uh, yeah. Uh, you don't think so, Ken? Listen I think Darren's the show. in the lead still. I think Darren's in the lead, yeah. yeah. You guys are killing me. Killing I'm going to go next because I, I, I don't want to ruin Darren's dreams. I'm going with a four row. I'm giving him a chance. This is a, a pick by a 5280. So our buddy Nate uh, gave me this bottle. So four roses, single barrel. Here we go. Yeah. I didn't expect much because those bottles, they typically don't do good, even though I hadn't opened it in forever. Uh, nothing there. So uh, Darren still has the lead, but uh, now Miss Becca Sue is ready to go. Looks like she's got a peerless lined up. I do. do um, this is a... Uh, nicely done, Steve. Oh, yes, yes. Um, I don't... This, again, like, I've been just cracking at stuff that we had boxed up like three years ago or two and a half years ago. So this is a peerless. Uh, it's not a pick. It's just a rye whiskey and... These famously don't do that well. So yeah. you're welcome, Darren. You got, it. You got a uh, chance but, here, Darren. But we'll see what happens. <laughs> okay. Okay. That was better. No. no was it? I, I don't, don't think, think it was. I don't think it was. was I think Darren it was, was nice. Better. I, I wanted it, nice, it to but be. But Darren got it. Yeah. Oh. And if it I was think I got silent, robbed. I was going to act like it was the loudest thing I've ever heard. But Darren who wins. got second? Who Cheers. got second at least? Did I, did I get second? Probably me, but it's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Cheers. Give it to Ryan. Uh, probably. You're not first, you're last, Ryan. All right, we'll take a quick break. And then when we come back, we're going to be talking about Darren now being an executive bourbon steward. We'll do that in just a few. Let's talk about the people who make these shows happen. First up is the ABV Barrel Shop. It is the most unique shopping experience in the world of bourbon as the ABV Barrel Shop only sells single barrels, owners Steve Akeley and Jim Fosnott select. With over 100 distilleries on board to sell us barrels, we are home to the most unique and diverse barrel pick selections in the bourbon world. By signing up for our email, you will always know what we have in stock. In addition to the single barrels, we'll have a gift shop featuring ABV Barrel Shop as well as ABV Network merchandise. We are partnering with vendors like Art Eatables and Old Man Bay Signs to bring you unique items you can't find anywhere else. We will also have a 24C classroom where we are offering educational and fun classes like Breakfast and Bourbon, a series where we pair donuts and bourbon, customer barrel picks, and opportunities to learn from master distillers and other bourbon dignitaries. Best of all, we feature a tasting bar where you can try before you buy. All of this is located in the St. Louis metro community of Arnold, Missouri. If you are in the St. Louis area, please stop by to say hi. If you're traveling in from outside the area, please take advantage of our hotel rates with the Drury Inn and Pear Tree Inn less than a mile from our shop. This can be done via the links in our Visit St. Louis section on our website. Head over to abvbarrelshop.com to plan your trip. The ABV Barrel Shop. It's where single barrels live. Hi, this is Steve Akeley, owner of the ABV Network. We're sponsored by the Staven Thief Society. This is where you, a bourbon enthusiast, can expand your knowledge and emerge a bourbon steward. In 2017, I completed my Executive Bourbon Steward Certification. It's the most comprehensive bourbon certification program available and connects you with an expansive network of bourbon enthusiasts and professionals. Check out the full listing of in-person and online certifications and join the Society today by enrolling at staventhief.com. Okay, let's talk about the Neely Family Distillery. In 2018, I met Royce Neely at an industry event. He started appearing on our shows 
and we became friends during my frequent trips to Kentucky. Today, he is amongst the leaders of young distillers, leaving their mark on the bourbon industry. A visit to Neely Family Distillery yields insight on their unique family history, why their products are special, and gives you the opportunity to taste their whiskey, moonshine, and creams. Check them out at neelyfamilydistillery.com or visit them in Sparta, Kentucky. Hi, this is Mr. Bill. You're listening to Bourbon Daily. Welcome back to the Bourbon Daily. Today, it's all about Darren. Yes, it is. So, Darren, let's hear a round of applause for Darren. Hello, Executive Bourbon Steward. Executive wow, Bourbon wow. Steward, Darren. Wow, wow. Looking down on Kathy Cool, like, <laughs> oh, she's just a peon. Yeah, yeah. Kathy, you should have gone. You should have gone to uh, and, and taken that class. Yeah. I like plan to at some that. point. Right, yeah. That'd be good. You can, it's not with Darren. It friends. It's <laughs> fun. It's fun when you do it with a friend. So I, you got to go with somebody. That's for sure. No, you don't want to just be there randomly by yourself. No. So it was a class. Oh, I go like everywhere Darren. else. Yeah. Darren, randomly what, by myself. Darren, what was the class like? So we did a little bit of distilling, a little bit of fermentation, learning in the class. Did did a bunch of sensory training. Sensory kit. Yes. The coolest thing is like they showed you the malted barley breaking up the enzymes of the mash like and how it was hard beforehand and then it became soft when you they added the malted barley that was cool that was like the first time i a lot of the stuff was very informative but that was like i was like holy shit this is magic again i don't understand what's going on here it's magic right and yeah so that was cool yeah were you nervous taking the test a lot of people t- have test ex- really. anxiety. So you just went in, you were like, I got this, no big deal. Do they fail yeah. anyone? No, no. That's, that's Maybe that. that's why he wasn't nervous. No, <laughs> I tell you what, uh, there's people. I mean, you, you, you want to see Justine Mays when, before she had to take her test? You're talking about someone who was uh, physically ill, um, but she did it and she passed, by the way. So she didn't, and she didn't need the help, by the way. That's when they come back out to you and talk to you, be like, we need to talk to you in private. Um, and, and yeah, so she didn't need that. Justine passed. Just, Justine's very, she's smart as anybody on, on whiskey. I mean, she knows her stuff. Justine's but, really yeah. smart. She is very smart. So, yeah. yeah. That's like the yeah. last person that I would think would fail it would be Justine Exactly. Mace. Right. She's so attentive to detail, you know that she pays attention and uh, probably knows more than us because we're not, we don't have that attention to detail she does, I don't think. so. Exactly. I, I trust Justine to pass more than anybody, so yeah. I don't, even know that I, would, I don't even know that I would pass. I think you'd be just fine. <laughs> what is, what's fine. The, what's okay. the process, Darren? How long is it? And what's, like, what's the investment into it? What's, uh, what's going on there? We got there at like 8.30 and left by 5.30. Yeah. So, it's all day thing. All day learning. Yep. Yeah. It's hands on too. So it's uh, that's what's kind of cool about it, right, Darren? And the fact that uh, it's not just sitting in a classroom. You're you're actually yeah. uh, making whiskey. Uh, you're going into a lab doing sensory training and things like that. I mean, it's it's pretty cool, right? Yeah, it's uh, full scale. You got to be on your game. Yeah. Yeah. How many people uh, were in the class? Seventeen ish, maybe eighteen. So not yeah. like a huge group. No, no, which is no, kind of nice. No, yeah, it's and all. Who's the who? Who typically goes to these things? Everybody uh, yeah. in in whiskey in Kentucky. So if you're if you own. Uh, you know, distillery workers are typically in there, so it's not uncommon to have distillery workers, uh, bar owners, you know, if you've got a, a bourbon bar that focuses on that, right. the brand ambassador types. I mean, everyone's gone through this, yeah. like Stephen Fonte. Does, you think Stephen Fonte needs to uh, bone up, on it, uh, but it's a standard. I mean, you, you got to do it. So Did yeah. Michael Veach go? Um, I bet you Veach is gone. I don't know for sure. but I bet I he wrote guess. the class. He probably, probably did. Molly Wellman went. Uh, so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Molly Wellman. Uh, t- I t- think both of the Russells have been through it too. Who, who is? Was there anyone in your class that you recognized? Not really. A lot of them were liquor stores this time, and but yeah. there was some people from the KDA social media team. Which, which you should know those people, by the way. So yes, yeah. 
Yeah. Those are the people I was. To. Was Sarah Barnes there? Was she one of the the? I don't. I, I don't know if she does her social media. She's certainly great at social media, and she is with the KDA. Was, was that name? Was she there? That was not the name. Okay. Yeah, Sarah not Barnes. Sarah. Sarah Barnes is fantastic, by the way. So yeah. Yes, yeah, she is. Yeah, yeah. She she basically uh, used to run Boone County Distillery back when they were really like the hot thing. I mean, she was the you know she ran the she was like the office manager, but also social media. And by the way, man, she just killed it. And then she went to work for <laughs> Bourbon Women, and now she's at the KDA. So yeah, I, I think Sarah Barnes is awesome. But yeah. who are the instructors at it there? Colin. Blake. Um, Blake. Yeah, he's the lead instructor. Guys, guy named Chris. Yeah, I'm sorry, Aiky. Hey, what'd you say? So Colin Blake is the lead instructor, and then they have a couple other people that help on. Those people rotate. Colin is the, the constant that's at all those. So, yeah. Um, so. Oh, so valuable there, no? Really valuable, you think? Definitely. Yeah. And, like the sensory kit and all of that is going to be very helpful even to grow further on past this point. Yeah, it's it is that's cool, and I I think to me one of the highlights is and I got this right and I'm very proud of that. Uh, you you learn what heads, hearts, and tails knows like, and then then you have to go up, line up, and then you literally have to nose only and then tell them what it is and i think this is a great exercise yeah. i think everyone should have to do that and uh so the fact everybody in this class has to do it and i'm very proud that i got that right uh jim did not by the way oh um, oh yeah and i, I remind him of that all the time uh, <laughs> no doubt not. yeah and uh, i but did darren, get it right too yeah darren got it right so yeah. nice yeah. yeah you were there uh, with yep, someone that's definitely you were... it i'm not second guessing this because that, that's right okay. Right, right. Yeah, I tell you what. That may sound like it's easy. It's not because everyone's there, and, uh, and and the pressure's on. You don't want to fuck that up. And uh, yeah, yeah, the pressure's on. I was actually told exclusively not to fuck that up. Steve was yeah. like, "Oh, you want to pass that part? <laughs> yeah, you do. You do." So uh, you were there with someone. Uh, did that individual get it right? They passed. Oh, okay. Oh, good. Congrats right, as well on the mic. Thank you. They, they did it pretty good. Is this a secret who you were there with? What's up? Why be Congrats so to Steinkamp. So Steinkamp got uh, he got the uh, the heads, hearts, and tails. Oh, no, he did not get that part. Oh, oh, oh. No, he missed Ouch. that. Dying Mr. Steinkamp. Camp. Oh no! Me, I tell you what, that that's a pass fail moment in my mind. If you if you don't get that right, it feels like you should have to do it again and be like, yeah, you know, hey, thank you for coming in today. There was only two in my class today. that did. Yeah, there was me and another guy. That's, yeah, that's, not easy. that's impressive yeah. Oh. yeah that's a flex for sure yeah <laughs> i was in there with someone who um uh has you know they're certified where they get that that necklace that you wear that shows you how great your palate is and all that that I'm person got it wrong that person got it wrong <laughs> 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 and that's like that's like twelve thousand dollars to go through that training and uh, I was right there by this individual, and I thought, well, this is going to be a good thing, uh, you know. And uh, so I get it right. And then I just kind of stand close enough where I can hear whether this individual got it right or wrong, did not get it right. And I'm like, holy fuck. This is a person who's invested in their, in yeah. their sensory. Yeah. 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 So, like, you better be getting that shit right. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yikes. Exactly. So, yeah. Sounds like they may have borrowed that necklace. I might yeah. have. I might have. I might have. <laughs> Sounds that way for sure. Yeah. So well, that's interesting. So overall, it was worth it then, Darren? Yes. And I would go again because it, it was so educated. If I could get the same amount of knowledge out of the one day thing again, I, I would. It was totally worth it for how much I learned. Yeah. And you'd probably pick up even more stuff on the second go around, I bet you, huh? Yeah. I'm sure. So, yeah. yeah, it's a good thing. It gives you just a great base if you're going to be talking whiskey all the time. I mean, it it gives you a great, well-rounded base. You learn about some other styles of whiskey, too. You learn about brands, history. Uh, everything's incorporated into this class. It's it's so well put together. And we are always going to send our employees to that. So right now we have three people, and all three of us have gone through and got our certification. And we will make sure that anybody else comes on board. That's going to be the deal. You're going to have to go over there and pass that class. So. Yeah, so we think it's we think it's worth it because we talk. All we do is talk whiskey, so yeah, should pretty able to talk. That's probably a good time to fully disclose the kickback you're getting on the uh, on the show. Well, then, huh? they are a sponsor <laughs> on the show, so I mean, I, the, 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 are they? I didn't know. So, yeah, yeah. So they they sponsor the uh, the show. So that's, nice. I mean, but I was unaware of that for the record. Yeah, 
Yeah. So, so I mean, yeah, technically, I mean, I guess you're not wrong there, but we don't <laughs> say it for that. I, I'm, I'm very proud that they, they sponsor us and they don't sponsor any of the other podcasts. I, I'm, I'm proud that uh, we have a relationship with them for the last, I don't know, four or five years. Yeah. And I think they're the standard. And I mean, there are, are to me, I, 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 mean, I, I couldn't ask for a better sponsor. Yeah, on people's yeah. on like on all the the bourbon people's like Instagram pages is one of the first things you see on their little like bio. It says executive bourbon steward. Yep. Yeah. yeah like that is a big thing. Hell, Jeff from Iowa's got his tattooed on his arm. Yeah. Yeah. Jeff from <laughs> he's, Iowa. He's yeah. Got his. Uh, he was so proud steward. he got that. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. think I, I mean, do it it's on a my big chest deal. First. Yeah. It's it's, it's a like big deal. All big across the chest. In big general, the people yeah. people we get a ton of people up at the distillery who are going down to go on. Uh, right. to, to get their uh, executive bourbon I, stewardship. I mean, I, I don't, uh, this is not a secret, so I'm not sharing anything I shouldn't share, but uh, the legend, of course, struggling with uh, uh, ALS, has designed his own tombstone, and on that tombstone, he will have the executive bourbon steward logo, which is pretty <laughs> That's cool. So cool. Which is pretty That's cool. That's awesome. I nice. mean, I, you know, people be walking through the cemetery and be like, what is this? Oh, the guy was an executive bourbon steward. I think that's, that's pretty, cool. that's pretty yeah. awesome, man. Uh, so it does mean a lot to people. So yeah, I would definitely encourage anyone to check out that program. It's something I've been looking at to send a couple of our uh, sales reps uh, to. So it's it's great to hear. That's why yeah. I was excited to chat about yeah. this. Is awesome. You know, I, I think Ryan too, what's good about that is for a couple of sales reps, people are going to be representing your company. It's almost like uh, sending someone to an Ivy League school. Is an Ivy League school education that much better than uh, a state education? Actually, probably not. I mean, maybe to some degree it is. You're spending enough. There's probably to, there's there's some factor where it's better but you know what comes out of that ivy league education networking you're, you're you know meeting contacts and stuff like that i mean it's probably worth sending your your, your sales if nothing else just to right. meet people from the industry you know we yeah, oh, i was great. like darren i was with uh i taking a class with some people from the kda well that's pretty damn big totally. <laughs> I mean, that doesn't hurt the kda for god's sake right absolutely right yeah pretty cool stuff yeah good point uh, all right. Well, we'll wrap this one up as we always do by talking about where people can find us. Darren, Mr. Executive Bourbon Steward, we'll start with you. You can find me upgrading my Instagram bio because that's a good idea at <laughs> The Bourbon Adventures. <laughs> Kathy. You can find me on Instagram at KK Cask Strength. All right, Ryan. Across all socials at 10th MTN Whiskey, and our website is 10th Whiskey.com. That's 10th Whiskey with an E. Miss Becca Sue. You can find me on Twitter and on Instagram at Miss Becca Sue, one K, no C's. All right, for me, I'm an easy guy to find. I'm at Steve Akeley on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. I've got a website, steveakeley.com. We've also got that company website. That thing's abvnetwork.com. Check it out. Everything that we do is out there. Previous shows, blogs, so much more, abvnetwork.com. Come by and see us, the ABV Barrel Shop, where we all have our Executive Bourbon Steward Certification. We'd love to talk to you about that and whiskey in general. So check us out online, abvbarrelshop.com. Miss Becca Sue, anything else to say before we get out of here? I'd just like to remind the audience to please give us a five-star review that includes comments. It helps new people find the show, which is very important to us. If you like what we're doing, we ask you please visit our Patreon page at patreon.com backslash the ABV network. Great job today, gang. Fardance, we'll have a brand new show for you tomorrow. Looking forward to that. Until then, take care, everybody. See ya. Bye. Bye, y'all. Bye. Peace. Before we finish the show, let's talk about some great companies that support the ABV network. First up is Moonshine Still Pro. Moonshine Still Pro has a full line of products to help the home distiller. Whether you want to experiment on the stove in your kitchen or you're looking for a bigger setup in your backyard, owner Russell Creed and his team can help. They have multiple still offerings, accessories, and even grain from their partners at Goldstone Mill to assist you in making whiskey on par with your favorite distillery. They can also help you with some fabricated parts you probably can't make yourself if you are attempting a DIY still project. Learn more or order your still or parts at moonshinestillpro.com. Last but not least is the ABV Barrel Shop. While we don't get to play in the allocated bourbon game because we aren't selling the other products you have to do to get those, we do have access via our friendships in the bourbon industry to some really cool stuff. Have you ever seen your favorite craft distiller selling some really cool limited offerings only in their gift shop? I'm talking things like the Hazmat offering Distillery 291 did for their 10th anniversary, 
or Neely Family Distillery's Papaw's birthday barrel. They don't have enough of it to send it out to distributors, so they only sell it via their gift shop. Well, companies like Distillery 291 and Neely Family Distillery have agreed to sell us two or three cases of these offerings moving forward, meaning our store will have the access to some of the rarest whiskeys in the world. Way more difficult to come by than the allocated bourbon offerings with a national release. Yes, they will be extremely tough to come by, but if you're a customer of our store, you'll have a chance to get them. Get signed up for our email or text list over at abvbarrelshop.com so you don't miss out. The Bourbon Daily is part of the ABV Network. For more information or to become a sponsor, please visit abvnetwork.com. Thanks for listening and cheers. This has been a Steve Akeley production. Thank <laughs> you.